can't get through that. When the Neshoba County Fair was first organized, we have had plenty of illustrious statesmen to visit with us. But this is the first time in our history that we have ever had a nominee for a president of the United States. I know that I'm not entertaining anybody but myself, so at this time, it's a real pleasure to present to you Governor Reagan, Governor. Jimmy Carter's doing his best. 
And that's our problem. <laughs>
that when you create a government bureaucracy, no matter how well-intentioned it is, almost instantly its primary priority becomes preservation of the bureaucracy. Today, and I know from our own experience in California when we report welfare, I know that one of the great tragedies of welfare in America today, and I don't believe the stereotype after what we did of people in need who are there simply because they prefer to be there. We found the overwhelming majority would like nothing better than to be out with jobs with a future and out here in the society with the rest of us. The trouble is, again, that bureaucracy has them so economically trapped that there's no way they can get away and they're trapped because that bureaucracy needs them as a clientele to preserve the jobs of the bureaucrats themselves. I believe there are programs like that, programs like education, others that should be turned back to the states and the local communities with the tax sources to fund them and let the people close the problems. I believe in states' rights. I believe in, in, in people doing as much as they can for themselves at the community level and the private level. And I believe that we've distorted the balance of our government today by giving powers that were never intended from the Constitution that federal establishment. And if I do get the job I'm looking for, <laughs> I'm going to devote myself to trying to reorder those priorities and to restore to the states and local communities those functions which properly belong there. I'm going to try also change federal regulations and a tax structure that has made this once great powerful industrial giant in this land and the world now with a lower rate of productivity than any of the other industrial nations with a lower rate of savings and investment on the part of our people and put us back where we belong and i just want to conclude with a couple of words about something that inspired me last night and i hope it will look to an insistent indication of why i still believe the answer to any problem confronting us lies with the people the nancy and i attended a swimming meet in california last night it's a little bit in some ways like this in that it's a long time institution in that particular community in irvine so the young swimmers from all over the united states were there because this year they made it something more special. All the swimmers who were not able to compete to go to the Olympics and then be in Moscow, and I think properly so because I don't think that the Soviet Union has any characteristic that qualifies it to hold the Olympics.
at the, well, at a midway point in the swimming meet. And I called attention to the fact of the sacrifice that they had had to make, more than most had to make, because of our feelings in this country about the Soviet Union and where that, the Olympics are going to be held. And I said, and I wasn't quite sure, I worried a little bit because I thought some of them might have been bitter about not being allowed to go. But I said to them anyway, I said, I hope that as the years go on, you will realize and be proud of your sacrifice because you will know that it was for the right cause. And those young people, those competitors came to their feet with a roar and a cheer that just sent shivers down my spine. They know what they've done. They're willing to make the sacrifice. And I think this country of ours is going to be in pretty safe hands from here on out.